Hello, Gamer Abroad community. We are at Aeon Mall for Tet Day 4. And today, since I just got word that work will be starting promptly next week, I've already been given my schedule. That means I need to get some supplies. So I'm back in Aeon Mall. We're gonna do some shopping. I gotta get some stationery. And I'm gonna look for a new bag. Hopefully a bag big enough that won't tear up all my books. And I hopefully I can fit my laptop inside of it. So here's Aeon Mall. We're about to go inside. Let me check my sound real quick. Okay, sounds good. Sometimes I mess that up. If you guys watched my one of my recent videos, you saw that I messed it up. We're gonna go inside and have some Texas chicken, and then we're gonna shop. If you guys haven't seen Texas chicken here, it's a Western food chain that's pretty big here in Vietnam, and I absolutely love it. Am I getting it on camera? Probably not, but this is Texas chicken. I'm gonna kill the camera because we're gonna eat, and then we're gonna shop, so I'll be right back. Okay, so we're done eating Texas chicken, and we're in the mall. And outside when I parked, it looked like there was hardly anybody here. I saw big open spaces, the bike parking lot. Look how crowded it is in here. It was actually more crowded the other direction, but that's where the grocery store was and all the food was. And as I stated previously, I'm looking for a place to buy like a bag. Yeah, that's where you can rent a kimono. No, free, free. Oh, you get a free. Okay, I stand corrected. You can get a free kimono because Aeon Mall is a Japanese company. So as part of the Japanese theme, you can get a free kimono and take pictures. My girlfriend and her family came here and took pictures uh, two days ago, I think it was. Now I see why some of these YouTube vloggers just turn the camera on and just just wander but I'm gonna use it as opportunities to ramble on. So at least you guys can hear my soothing voice. It's like a one-man podcast, but with something to look at. Maybe one of these days I'll interview myself. I'll have a guest star. So I've taken you guys here before, but when I was here before, there wasn't this many people. But today, it is crowded. So you got the game station up there so i don't really know where i could find a stationary store i'm looking for a notepad and i'm looking for maybe like an older over the shoulder briefcase type bag not quite a backpack but shaped like a briefcase that can hold some books and notepads and hopefully my laptop that would be pretty nice I work so close to home, so I don't really need to bring my laptop. But now that I don't have a phone, because I dropped it and broke it, the only option for entertainment might be my laptop during my 30 minute break between classes. That's Koi coffee, or oh, that's why I want to say coffee. That's Koi milk tea. The biggest milk tea company here, I think, I'm just guessing, in Vietnam. where all the trendy teenagers go. Boy, the Nike store is not getting any any business, are they? You know how expensive that Nike stuff is? You know why it's expensive? Because it's real. So why should anybody go in there when you can go to the markets on the streets and buy almost the same quality clothing with the swoosh check mark symbol at 10% of the price? So why even go in the Nike store? It's all made in China anyways, isn't it? Ah, fans. This is uh, the company, I wonder if they sell skateboards, they don't. This is the company I always bought shoes from when I was a kid. Sponsored by Tony Hawk. The world's oldest skater. I think I'm gonna buy a skateboard. When I have money. I wanna start skateboarding again. In my junior high school, I made friends with this kid named Scott. And he was the only kid that I ever knew that ever skateboarded. And he had an old skateboard. And he said he'd sell it to me for 20 bucks. So I went and begged my mom for 20 bucks. And she gave it to me. And that was my first skateboard. And then I caught this really good idea of connecting a chain from my belt loop to my wallet. Like, like you would see the bikers do. This is actually probably a good place to start for a notepad. Let's go in here. 
Yeah. I'll continue the story when we get out of here. So this is Fahasha Bookstore. Also one of the biggest bookstores in Ho Chi Minh City. But I think this is a good place to start to get some pens. Although if I really wanted to save some money, I can get some pens at Circle K. Bring it like a pack of 10 for 10,000, probably a thousand down per pen. This is only 20,000, so it's less than a dollar. But not quite what I was looking for. Looking for something a little bit more, I don't wanna say fancy, but something that's not gonna fall apart. I can open and close it. So I found myself a notepad that I'm gonna use. And it's more like a binder where you can buy a new paper and swap it in and out. Most of these notepads have papers glued into the binding. So once you use it, the whole notepad's done. So that is taken care of. I don't think I'll buy pens here unless they're actually cheap. Let's find out. Oh, you're stationary. I knew somebody here one time that was an artist and she would come here and get her stationary supplies. Ah, oh, here's some pens. 20% discount, huh? I think I'll just go to a Circle K and buy pens. Why? Because I lose my pen all the time. If I buy a pen for two or three dollars, I'll just lose ah. it. These are 50 cents each, 11 cents. These are actually decent. I like the way these feel. What I put in here also have a cheap, cheap one. These are only 11,000. I think I'm gonna get one of these. I'm gonna get two of these. One black, one blue. Why? Should get a red too. They really hate it when you write in red here. Sometimes I like to have a red pen just so I can write in red. And everybody can point out the fact that I'm using a red pen because it's fun that way. Saw so your binders. Well, I got pens. Got a notepad. Now I'm just seeing where she's gone. Oh, there's a store in District 1 I should go to. It has a lot of stuff that I might need. I'm gonna have to inventory my supplies and see what I need to replace. I might need a new sticky ball. Those things are fun. Okay, so now let's look for a bag. Notepad check, pens check, bag not checked. And I don't think I'm gonna find a bag in here. All I see now are books. They have a Fahasha in District 1 that's one, two, three, four levels. So this one's actually quite small. All right. My girlfriend is behind me. All right, so let's go check out. So I bought the, just the book. There was a discrepancy with the pens. They were marked at 11,000 per pen, which is about 50 cents. But they rang them up as 70,000, which is about $3. So I decided not to get them. In order for them to cancel the transaction, they had to call the manager because she couldn't avoid the transaction on her own. So it took a little while, but whatever. I'd rather get pens to serve K anyways. You get like a five pack for 10,000. They'll break after you use them three times, but I usually lose them before I use them twice, so it's okay. Decathlon. I don't actually see that many people riding normal bikes around Ho Chi Minh City. Now my comments are probably gonna get blown up about how many people they see riding bikes. <laughs> There's a camping store. I think I commented on that on my last video. A camping store in the middle of the concrete jungle. Okay, so the only thing we need to buy now is a bag. So let us wander on. 
kind of excited but with a little bit of trepidation to go back to work when you don't work for seven months i think it's been you get really comfortable you get really used to sleeping in till nine or ten o'clock staying up till midnight plus writing captions for my videos and editing and producing them not to mention filming them it takes up a lot of time but i promise you guys i'll keep making the videos you guys will come with me from here on out on my journey my journey of life in vietnam specifically ho chi minh city because that's where i'm currently at i don't have any real plans to to move out of ho chi minh city anytime soon but i will do traveling when you work here in vietnam you get a lot of vacation time so there'll be a lot of time for me to travel a lot of four-day weekends many many instances where i'll have one week off or two weeks off so it'll be really easy yeah a flight to cambodia is only 30 minutes a flight to thailand is probably two hours there's all kinds of places i can do, see and go to places to do people to see my girlfriend's pointing somewhere. What? What do you say? Oh, okay. She wants us to go this way. You guys, remember that Jerry Seinfeld joke where he talks about how women are always asking what a man is thinking. So if a woman asks what a man is thinking, what's the answer? Nothing. It's kind of walking around, looking around. It's kind of exactly what I'm doing. You had to direct me back on the correct path. I'll probably walk right over the railing. She didn't keep me focused. Kid wanted to headbutt my kneecap. Sound tech, all right. This shotgun mic has three different settings on it. It has a 360 setting, which allows me to talk behind it. And you can still hear the sound of the atmosphere and people in front of me, etc. And then it starts narrowing. It has one setting where it's just almost a straight line. And it'll block out all sound, except for in that straight line. And the middle setting is where I accidentally flip it all the time. It'll still hear me, but I'll be like muffled in the background. And it's like a... I like a small pincer like this is where the real sound will come from. I'd love to have a chair like that at home. But I just don't know how much time I would have ever just to sit there. Wouldn't quite reach my computer desk. There's actually people inside there singing karaoke. I always thought karaoke, karaoke, karaoke. I always thought karaoke was for uh, drunk people. Apparently, people like to sing even when they're not drinking. Who would have figured? Okay, I probably edited that out because there was a pretty loud announcement right there. I don't want to keep talking. Oh, I was telling the story, wasn't I? Shit, what was I talking about? Wow, I had to turn off the camera and think. I forgot the story I was telling. Okay, so I got the good idea from somewhere of putting a chain to my belt loop to my wallet, like the bikers would do. So my friend Scott, he copied that idea. So we were the first kids at our junior high in grade seven that were skateboarders for one and started doing the wallet chains for two. So I took his skateboard idea, he took my wallet chain idea and off we rode with it. So I was a skateboarder um, practically all my life, up until my early 20s, then off and on. I used to work at a at a food place in America. Yeah, you know, the bag's right here. This way. I used to work at a food place in America that when they were, weren't busy, you could leave the kitchen and go out in the parking lot and we would smoke our cigarettes and then we would skateboard. And the owner of the restaurant was so cool, she'd come out there and watch us. 
Well, skateboarding was such a big part of my life. About four years ago, I was in Vegas with my nephew, and he's a skateboarder. So I picked it up again. I had just got my ollie back after a few hours of practice, just doing some good ollies. But then I scrubbed pretty hard, and being at my age, it took me quite a while to recover from it. I was limping around for about a week. I think these bags are a little too fancy. I was looking for. These are leather. I don't want to buy anything I'll just destroy. Or lose, for that matter. Yeah, these are for girls anyways. Not quite what I'm looking for, they're too small. And I'd rather have like a canvas material. Not a, not leather. I don't want to pay extra money for a cow skin. My cats are just scratch them up anyways. Right now, And cheap. 379,000. 300,000 for those. $12 pants. The same pants in the States, guys, would run you 60, 80 bucks. It's weird how you can get a mirror for 12 bucks, huh? So this guy's whole ensemble. Everything this, well, this mannequin, this pretend guy, is wearing costs 2 million, 2 million 25. Let's just call two million, which is 80 bucks. So about the price of the pants alone in the United States. Okay, let's just look for the bag. I gotta get her away from the clothes. Some bags in here. I'll use one of my old backpacks before I spend five million on a bag. Well, I'm gonna kill the camera till I get out of the store because I think I'm in the wrong store, guys. And we're coming up on underwear and all that, so I don't want to be a creepy guy holding the camera in the underwear section. Okay, we're back just in time for another loud announcement. I'll keep talking. You guys can hear me for us. So that place too rich for my. Yeah, I changed my mind. Before we get to the donuts, I'm gonna walk through and win Kim and show you guys the biggest electronic store company in Ho Chi Minh City. I did a video to where I went and bought some nose hair trimmers. I just haven't made it yet, so look forward to that in the future. It's my dream to get one of these TVs. Ba Mui. Ba Mui. Chiryu. Ba Mui Chin. It's like 4 Mui Chiryu. Ba Mui Chiryu. 40 million for a TV. Maybe if I remember I'll put on the screen what that is in US dollars. 25 million. This one's only 7 million. No, never mind. It's a sound bar that's only 7 million. Huh. I'm gonna say that's not right. That's for the sound bar. Huh? This right here. Uh. My friend that has the laptop story, he wanted to sell me a, a sound bar for one, mil one million, I think it was. I almost bought it too. I just didn't want to spend the money. Now that I've been rocking out a little bit more in my house, listening to YouTube, I think it might not be a bad idea to get some good sound. This one's 15 million. Six or seven hundred bucks. Sony brand, yeah. Sony is a good brand. I have a TLC. I think it's TLC. TCL. TCL. You guys remember the group TLC from the 90s? That's what I was thinking. Made in China. Yeah, made in China. It was a horrible TV. And it cost me five million. The original price was seven million but they brought it down for me. It's like the water coolers we have in our house. Yep. Here you don't want to drink tap water. So you get your water delivered in big bottles. And if you buy one of these old things like this, you can have a dispenser and it'll keep it cool. It's fairly cheap, only four million. 170 bucks. 
180. An iron? We need it. I mean, not, not, I mean, right here. We do need an iron at some point. And this would be the kind of place to get it. For blenders, like an entire wall of microwaves. You guys want to see what a microwave costs here? Made in Japan. Oh, Japan quality. Made in Thailand, Toshiba. Two million. This is about what I paid for my microwave. I'm not sure. I don't think I paid much more than two million. These are all around two million. And most places, apartments here don't come with ovens. And for that matter, most don't come with stoves either. So I had to buy something like this for my apartment. A little bit smaller though. Maybe I showed you guys in my apartment tour video. And also, like I said, they don't come with stoves. These are your gas powered stoves. They're actually really cheap. Like 850,000. So less than 40 bucks. But then you gotta have propane delivered. What I like is these uh, induction ones. 15 million. I have a smaller one at home. I don't remember what I paid for it. But induction stoves aren't very efficient. The worst way to make heat, as I'm sure all you guys know, is through electricity. And induction ovens use electricity. Oh, that's a hell of a induction stove. Yeah, 24 million. Made in Thailand. I think a lot of the electronics come from Thailand. I know my refrigerator in my house was made made in Thailand. Came from Thailand. You can find a lot of laptops here pretty cheap too. Though I think the store is more expensive. There's a cool computer store called Bambu. Bambu? Or Bukbu? I don't know. In District 3, you can get stuff pretty cheap. And not, to, not to mention Dien Mae San, which is a little cheaper than this store. And 21 million. What is that? What is that working with? It has an AMD processor. I'm already not sold. I'm an Intel guy. There's an i3 Intel for 10 million. Four gigabytes of RAM, 256 gigabytes of storage. Onboard graphics, no dedicated graphics card. I'll show you guys my gaming setup someday. My laptop's actually really nice. I paid about $4,000 for it in the States. And I end up using my 12 year old desktop with my five year old GPU instead. Okay. Well, this is a mini version of Nguyen Kim. There's a big one in District 1. I already made a video, but in that video, I went in there and just bought nose trimmers and, and got out. One of these days, I'll release it. Sometimes I just bring my camera with me and take footage and never make videos. Actually, now that I think about it, I actually have a lot of footage that I never made a video out of. I'm definitely getting a lot more comfortable walking around holding this camera in my hand. When I first started doing this, I was very aware. But now it's getting to the point where I'm almost retreating into my head. And it feels like I'm just talking to you guys now. I even forget my girlfriend's walking next to me sometimes. But I definitely don't focus on the people anymore. That's actually a really good thing. It makes for a better vlogger. Gotta get past the shyness. Because, you know, I'm a bearded white guy, so that alone makes people want to look at me. But now I'm a bearded white guy with a GoPro and a stick and a shotgun mic. And that makes them look at me even more. So now, now I don't even notice. Except for right now, because I'm talking about it. So now I'm going to start noticing. Hopefully we're getting back to the food section. This mall is so big. I'd like to be able to get our donuts get on out of here I'm gonna buy a bag somewhere else I don't think the mall is the right place to buy a bag I say in my videos I'm poor and it's not necessarily true but I'm definitely very stingy and thrifty because I haven't worked for so long so I, I just can't see myself paying three four or five million for a bag if anything I'll just use my old backpack at home until I find the right one 
not gonna buy, buy one and overpay while I buy it just to have one that's not perfect. The backpack itself's already not perfect, so and that's free because I already own it. My girlfriend wants me to go this way. She brought me back to the real world again. Okay, so, so now I'm seeing the Japanese kimono section, so now I know we're getting back up to the food court. Oh, sorry, I got the burps. Getting back to the food court. So we just took a million pictures. Now we're getting to the food area. That's this house. Pretty cool little area. The pretty trees for, for New Year's. The right this way is the donut shop. Oh yeah, by the way guys, there's Pizza Hut's in Vietnam. I think you guys knew that already. But if you didn't know, you know now. And they have a special for takeaways and deliveries. Buy one large, any topping pizza and a soda. And you get a free large. That's usually what I get. I end up paying 460k, which is about $18 for two large pizzas and a liter and a half of soda. In the states, you buy your sodas in two-liter bottles. Here they have liter and a half bottles. I don't know why, but that's just why it is. There's Texas Chicken where we started our journey today. We're gonna walk on straight. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I can because I have superpower vision with my four eyes but we're walking right up to the Aeon Bakery and if it's late enough which it might well be what time is it 9 24 p.m. and that means it's about to close so we can get the pastries at a discount so this is exciting news this is a McDonald's of course you guys know we have McDonald's here in Vietnam my girlfriend and I has actually stopped there at McDonald's a lot Specifically that one, but other McDonald's too, and we'll just buy an ice cream cone for 10,000, about 50 cents. A little less than 50 cents. All right, here we go. As you can see, the shelves are absolutely cleared out. It's been ransacked and looted. Seems I got everything over here. And the ones we like appear to be all gone. So. I wish I could show you guys the American style donuts that they have here, but I cannot because they do not have them. I think we're SOL. They don't have what I want. I know, they don't have what I want either. Do we don't need to buy it? I guess not. What are these guys picking out of here? Are they muffins? I don't want muffins, I just want to see what they're picking at. Yeah, they're muffins. Well, that's a disappointment. Sorry about that, guys. We got here a little too late. I think 8.30 is probably a good time to show up at the bakery and start getting the discount before it starts clearing out. I think people hover around this bakery until discount time and they all swoop in like carrying birds on a dead animal in the desert and scoop up all the pastries. So here's the exit right here. So we're gonna leave now. I hope you guys enjoyed my video of Aeon Mall on Tet Day three day four on tet day four so i'll get this out to you guys after i get tet day two and day three videos out until then stay awesome thanks for watching guys <laughs>